to make the perfect Photoshop cutout. Hi, I'm Jenny from Zhao Studio. Last time we talked about five simple tools doing Photoshop selection: the magic wand, the magnetic lasso, the quick selection, the color range, and the channels. If you are interested in learning more about the five methods, click the link above to watch the other video first. If you already have some experience with Photoshop, you probably know them already. But as you know, all these five tools offer just quick and dirty results that may not be perfect and may not satisfy all your needs. If that's your case, please keep watching. Because today, I'm talking four more advanced techniques doing the perfect Photoshop selections. Okay, the first is uh, image adjustment. You can combine any selection tools with image adjustments to achieve better results. You may already tried one of the five methods I talked about last time, so you have a selection, but they're not as good as you want. For example, I use a magic wand, and I want to select the sky area. As there's not enough contrast between the tree and the background, I'm not selecting everything I want. You can see it's not perfect. So what I can do for the case is to apply adjustments to the image to give a higher contrast before I do the selection. I should make a copy of the layer first, so I'm not losing anything. I drag the layer, place it on top of the new layer symbol. And now I have a new duplicated layer that I can apply all the adjustments to. I go to Image, Adjustment. You can see there's a whole list of uh, adjustments Photoshop offers. They are quite powerful. I'll use the brightness and contrast as an example. I'll give a higher contrast and higher brightness. You can see that the sky got brighter and the tree got darker. You can also add multiple adjustments and play around with all the options to achieve the best you can. For example, I will do a curve. I'll make the darker part even darker, the brighter part even brighter. And now if I do the same magic wand, I got much better selection. So I can turn off the new layer, go to the original layer, and do the delete. You can see, now the result is much, much better. As I just said, image adjustment works pretty well combining with all selection tools. And they are all quite straightforward, but I do want to talk especially about the channel too, as it kind of works differently. So what I did last time, as you remembered, I used channel two to make a selection of the foreground of the image. So I went to the channels panel and figured out that the blue channel has the most contract of the image, and I made a direct selection based on the channel, and that's what I got. But as you know, the black is not pure black, and white is not pure white in this channel, so the selection is not perfect. So I can also apply adjustments to the channel layer before I make selection. I should make a copy of the channel layer first to save the original and then make adjustments. I'll do a curve. Okay, so I'll make the darker part black. 
and make a brighter part white. Okay. I, want, I also want to get rid of all the white details in the black re region as I do want them to be selected. I can simply use brush and select the black color and brush off all the white details. I can also use uh, white color to do the opposite part, brush out all the gray stuff in the white region. And now I have a perfect selection. You can select based on this channel, go back to the RGB channel, go back to the layer, and do the delete. And that's my perfect selection. If you are selecting an object with smooth edge, and you want the selection to be perfectly smooth, you can also use Pen 2. Pen 2 is here. Shortcut P, first one in the box. Let's zoom in a little bit. The Pen 2 requires some practice at first, but as you get used to it, it can be very helpful. So it's basically click to place anchor and drag to adjust curvature. So place, hold here, drag to adjust. Place, hold, and drag. You can also just click without dragging to place straight lines. To close up a curvature, simply click on the first anchor. You can also simply adjust existing paths uh, by using the direct selection tool. It's short, shortcut A, second in the box, the white arrow. You click on the anchor you want to move around, and you can move or click on the control handles to adjust the curvature. So the pass is a vector overlay in Photoshop. It's not a real thing, it's not pixels. If in the pass panel you deselect the layer, it just disappears. If you save the image right now, uh, the pass will not show up. But you can load the pass by filling it or by making it a stroke or make it into a selection. So here, I can select the path layer and use the load path as a selection. Okay, now that's my cutout. Next is the mask. The mask is a must in Photoshop. You always need it here or there. It can also combine with our selection tools and make it easier to twist around. Let me make a quick selection. Okay, instead of doing a direct cutout, I can load the selection as a mask. So it's here in the layer panel, add layer mask. So now I transfer the selection into a mask. You can see the black is so uh, the region that is masked off and white is not covered. The good thing about mask is that everything in the layer is still preserved, nothing is deleted, so you can always bring things back easily. I can make adjustments to the mask, maybe inward the control and I to inward the selection. I can also use brush to brush the part I want as white and the part I don't want as black. And I can combine with uh, the pass to, to select the area I want to fill with white and in the pass panel, it's here. 
fill pads with uh, foreground color. Okay. Finally, the last one is a vector method, and I call it pass adjustment. If you are more familiar with uh, Illustrator than Photoshop, or if you like uh, vector editing more than raster editing, you should definitely try it. So let me have a quick selection first. Okay, now I use the marquee tool or the M. I right click on the selection, find the make work pass option, and OK. Now you can see I load the selection into a pass. I can easily adjust the pass with uh, the selection tool to move around all the anchors and play around with the curvatures. I can also use the add anchor tool to add more anchors for adjustment. And to load the path back to a selection in the path panel, I use this option, load path as a selection. Okay. So here are the nine ways of doing Photoshop selections. All in all, if you just want something quick and dirty, you can try Magic Wand or Magnetic Lasso. I would suggest Quick Selection tool as a combination of the previous two. The color range is a quite helpful tool uh, doing quick and uh, neat selections. If you have more time and want to learn more techniques, you can try channels or the pen tools. If your image don't have a good enough contrast to do a good selection, you can do image adjustment before selection. If you got a selection already and want to make adjustments to the selection, you can try masks if you like raster better, or you can um, do pass adjustment if you like vector better. Okay, if you like my videos, please subscribe and see you next time.